So, hello and firstly, welcome. Um, firstly, I'd like to start off by welcoming everyone here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of this beautiful, generous, kind man <laughs> and this woman. It truly means a lot to us both to have you here on our special day today. Some of you who have travelled far and wide from Canada, Scotland, England and even Shane came from Galway. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. Both me and uh, Maria really appreciate the effort each and every one of you has made and you all look smashing. While of course we are glad that everyone here today could make it, it has not been possible to have everyone we love join us. However, we know they're here with us in spirit and they're not only in our thoughts but more importantly they're here with, their, here with us in our hearts. So with them in mind, stay seated, raise a glass and join me in a toast to absent friends and family, to absent friends and family. Now, to the parents. To Jerry and Deirdre, thank you for not only opening your home to me, but also your fridge. <laughs> There's always something cooking or baking in your house, and Deirdre, in our roles of head baker and self-appointed role as head taster, I look forward to our continued success in perfecting many a cake in the years to come. In all seriousness, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the help and support you've not only shown me, but together as a couple. You've done an amazing job in raising a strong, independent daughter, and I promise to always love her and make her my top priority. Rest assured, like Lee Keegan on Jermaine Connolly, I'll, I'll stick to her tight. <laughs> To my own parents, I would like to thank you for everything you have given me uh, in my life, for bringing me up the way you have, for giving me all the encouragement and support I ever needed through school, sport, work and my life. I would, turn the page, <laughs> I would have never have gotten to where I am today if it wasn't for your love and support and guidance f uh, from you both. If medals were given out for parenthood, they surely would be gold. Through your actions or otherwise, you've instilled in me a drive for hard work, a go-get-them attitude, as well as an addiction to caffeine, which, <laughs> which is all probably related. <laughs> I love you both very much, and I hope that you're as proud as me, as I am as proud as you. As I start on my own journey in marriage, may it be successful in what you've achieved in your 32 years together. I love you. And with that, can you please raise a glass to the parents? I said four, oh, four, four, 42, 42, correction. Four, it is 42 written here, but um, sure you know yourself. Um, to my new brother-in-law, Owen, I wish to briefly say thank you. For as long as I've known you, it's been great having a younger brother who I can tease. But I won't say anything more about Arsenal today. <laughs> finger out. Um, <laughs> finger in. Um, <laughs> uh, to my sisters, I would like to thank Martine and Antoinette for being part of my life and for their unconditional love and support. To my... To my older brothers, Shane and Emmett, who were also my groomsmen today, I must say you were looking very well. Nice suits I picked out for you. <laughs> uh, thank you for not only being there when I needed your help, um, but your help on this big day has been massively, massively uh, important to me. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> All your winding up in the lead up and today ha has really put me at ease. <laughs> To my other groomsmen, Connor, thank you also for your help today and for also being a great cousin. Yeah. Now, to my best man, Alan. What can I say about him? For those of you who don't know him, Alan's my cousin and we've known each other since we were both knee high to a grasshopper. While not, not only being family, we are great friends. Now, whether this continues to be the case after, after today depends on what he has to say in the next few minutes. 
<laughs> Regardless, Alan and I share many a similar interest, in particular Mayo GA, Connacht Rugby, politics, and Mayo GA politics. politics. <laughs> they're, not, they're not the same thing, they're completely different. <laughs> Jimmy Sloan, that's why you walked away from it. Uh, <laughs> but it's safe to say, by far when I needed him, he's been my best drinking buddy. <laughs> Over the years, we've visited many establishments together. So much so, I don't think the Sunday World pub spy could tell us something we don't already know. How many creamy pints will we give this place? I give it a five? Go four? I know, Jesus. <laughs> Jacks are clean, though. <laughs> <laughs> However, before Alan gives his speech, please bear in mind that he'd been quite forgetful and he often refers to embarrass embarrassing stories about other people when the stories are in fact about himself. <laughs> the, uh, the bridesmaids, um, to, to the bridesmaids, Emma, Grace, Sive and Antoinette, you all look fantastic today. I would like to thank you for your support and, uh, and hours of hard work you put into organising Maria's Hen and for making this day as special as possible for us. I know Maria and I um, are very grateful for not only your friendship but also your efforts. And ladies and gentlemen, please raise a glass and a toast to the bridesmaids. Now, there's one job that needs doing, as we've had great help from the page boy today, Liam. Uh, I wish, and I wish to acknowledge it. I know that it's his birthday soon, and he was worried that the wedding was going to clash with his party. So I hope you don't mind, Liam, but Maria and I got you a little birthday cake, and if everyone can join me in singing happy birthday to Liam, that would be great. So here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Liam. Happy birthday to you. Before I move on to my wife, no, you're not reading that. Before I move on to my wife, I would also like to thank the following people who have also helped in various ways in making this day as special as possible for Maria and I. I would like to thank Stephen, Caitlin, uh, Jane and Martina for doing the readings earlier, to uh, Peter for the lend of his car and driving the bridesmaids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, thanks very much for the advice. Got this in hand. Uh, to our musicians, to Father Robert uh, Smith, he's, he, uh, he's not here, but I, he, he gave a, a fabulous ceremony today and we thank him very much. Louise, our wedding coordinator, and the rest of the staff at the Castanac Hotel, um, but also my little niece, Sophia, for coming today. You are so cute, and I look forward to all the fun we're going to have as you grow up. We're going to have a ball. And I'm going to spoil you. <laughs> now, last but not least, my beautiful bride and the new Mrs. Peyton in the family. <laughs> You're extremely smart, best shown by your undergrad and masters in politics, Musidee, as, as well as at how brilliant you are as a project manager for an IT company. But somewhere in there, you were still dumb enough to marry me. <laughs> You are the love of my life, my rock, my best friend, and over the uh, past year, my work colleague. <laughs> uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, let me tell you, there's nothing worse than a, 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 a hearing about a P1 server trouble. She'd be on the phone for hours talking, and it's just, you'd be there beside her, and it's just like, will you shut up, will you? <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> Since the day I met you, it's been a whirlwind, and we've rarely had a quiet moment. Mostly because I haven't stopped talking. <laughs> 
from our time going to UCD and living in the finest accommodations, uh, go, going on nights out and studying hard to where we are today, you've been by my side every step, giving me your love and support. You've made me a better man, and nothing in the world makes me happier today than to call you my wife. I continue to learn from you each day, so much so that I now know that multi-purpose cleaner isn't in fact for multi-purposes. <laughs> And that when birds were returning to warmer climates, they were not immigrating, as I proudly proclaimed one day, <laughs> but were in fact migrating. <laughs> However, I hope in our time being together, I've taught you a few things, like the ins and outs of Mayo GA, <laughs> as well as gifting you a thick Mayo accent, so good that a Dublin taxi driver actually asked if, Mayo, if Maria was from Mayo when, she, when, he was, when he was speaking to him. <laughs> Your, your organisation skills are second to none, and how you manage to organise this wedding while working, I, I, I do not know, but I'd like to think I helped a little. <laughs> Certainly all them post-it notes on my computer screen every Monday morning helped. <laughs> but they're only a small part in the scheme of things. Uh, in all seriousness, having you by my side, laughing and cringing at all my stupid jokes and antics, um, is worth it, as well as you help me find my keys, phone and wallet when I lose them. It's all worth it. <laughs> Maria, I love you deeply so much and I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please raise a glass to my wife and the new Mrs. Peyton and the family? <laughs> and with that, I thank you all for coming. I hope you have a fabulous day and one last quick toast to love and happiness. <laughs> to love and happiness. Thank you. Oh, good lad, Dara. Fair play to you.